Hey, Tubies! <laughs> this is Bob Hickman. I tell you guys, I'm just so psyched to be here. I've been waiting all week for today because we're going to have a really special guest here. And I'll get to that in just a moment. But first of all, I want to say thank you to all of you who came out to my recent videos. We had uh, earlier this week a video on Atlantis, ancient Atlantis and crystals. We had messages from the spirit world. And last night we had another video about ancient aliens in Atlantis and Lemuria. And if you didn't see last night's video about the aliens in Atlantis and Lemuria, check that out. It's the video right before this one. And uh, I think you'll like it. You know, I had such a crazy busy day yesterday that I didn't get to post that till late. So a number of you may not have seen it, but definitely after today's video, go and see that one. Well, I tell you, I am so psyched because I got a treat for you guys today. I have a dear friend of mine. His name is Norman Moody. And a lot of you are going to say, I know that name. Well, you certainly do know that name because he is one of the top psychics in the country. And uh, Norm operates out of New England, out of New Hampshire. He's basically all over the, the world nowadays, but his home base is new in New Hampshire. And he and I, we commune back and forth. And you know, we've been we've been having such a good time and and I, I couldn't wait for you guys to meet him. And I think we've got him on the line. Are you here, Norm? Yes, I am. Thank there. you for inviting me, Bob. <laughs> well, thank you. I am so excited to have you here. You know, a lot of my followers here at YouTube, they love the spirit world. They love psychic things. And you know, Norm, as you and I have always said, there's a lot out there that's simply still a mystery. And as psychics, we love to delve into that, don't we? Yes, we sure do. I think the universe is a very interesting world. Absolutely. I have to agree. I do think the universe is very, very interesting. You know, this week I've been doing some studies on ancient Atlantis and Lemuria. And, you know, I think the history of the world is far deeper than what we're being taught in the schools, don't you? Oh, absolutely. You know, there's never-ending knowledge about the, uh, about the universe. Absolutely. I agree. Well, you know, Norm, as somebody who yourself is quite the mystic, I would like you just to kind of introduce yourself a little bit. Tell, tell my viewers kind of, you know, a little bit about your background, you know, how you started as a psychic. I will be honored to, my pleasure. By the way, Bob, before we do that, I'd like to thank you for calling on Norman Fred's TV show as well. Okay. Yes, the thank you. A wonderful surprise. We well, got a lot of good callers about it. Well, thank you so much. In fact, you know, I'm so glad you mentioned that because uh, yesterday I was telling the viewers that I was tied up and I mentioned I did a TV appearance and that was actually on Norm's show. Uh, Norm's show is called Norman Friends. And I'm going to put the, the, the uh, link below here for you guys. You've got to go over and check it out. He has a show. It's, it's um, every week, isn't it, Norm? Yes, it is. It's a very spiritual show every week. Yeah, and what are your times on that? My, my show is on every Wednesday from 4 p.m. to 5.55. However, they can download it on YouTube by going to Norm's Friends. There you go. And you know, guys, I'm going to put the link to, to Norm's website and to his TV show and to his YouTube. And, you. Uh, you know, Norm, we're just so excited. I know that everybody's been excited to meet you. And, you know, I'm just dying to know a little bit more about your background. You know, we've been friends, but, you know, sometimes we, we forget to ask the basic questions when you've known somebody a while. So. I've been doing this for, of course, I tell everybody I'm 35 with a 43-year-old son, you know, but <laughs> doing this. Uh, I'm 70. I've been doing this for like 60 years, okay? Wow. I'm not going to tell you that it was the easiest road journey, but it was my journey, what I had to take. I went through the dark side. I've done uh, negative energy. I've, I've uh, worked with Ouija boards. I've done alcohol and reading, which you should never do. I had to go through the path of darkness to, and hit rock bottom to where I am today. Okay, and you know what? The thing is, I have no regrets for it. 
because I've learned, I, I, I used to belong to a board, several born again Christian churches who all kept at me and told me I was going to hell and all this other stuff. And I feel you can relate to that, Bob. Oh, absolutely. You know, I, I think that there's a real misunderstanding. And, and not to pick on any one religion, but I do feel like, in the, at least in the United States, the Christian churches do not understand the psychic component of our lives. And, and well, they follow, well, Jesus was a prophet, you know. I don't, you know, they, they said he was a son of God, but I also believe that Jesus was a very strong prophet. Absolutely. Okay? And I also will tell you that I have had no formal training. In other words, I haven't gone on to, to take classes offline or college or whatever. I have all the knowledge I have has been taught by my spiritual guides, by my spiritual angels. And let me tell you, I fought for a lot of years not to have angels because I was, I was uh, comparing the angels with Christianity. Oh, yeah. We see, you know, you said it. The angels, and I have to agree with you, are, are really non-denominational. They're beyond all religions. They are directly from the source. And, you know, I, it's very interesting to me, Norm, that you mentioned that you um, have been, you know, you, you've been a natural psychic. And this is something that I think is something that is very fascinating. And would you agree with me that psychic ability runs in bloodlines and family bloodlines many times? Oh, absolutely. My mother, uh, I never knew my mother, but, uh, and my dad also, they both were very strong in the psychic field, but back in the days when I was growing up, it was not acceptable. Isn't that interesting? Because um, I've mentioned to you before that I was adopted. Right. And in my birth family, there are a number of psychics. And I was not raised with them. And it wasn't until I was in my 20s that I met them and found out where I came from. So that's been my experience. And I, I think with your line, too, it sounds like you have that experience as well. And absolutely. And the one thing I want your, your listeners to understand, and now mine, because I got a lot of people that are going to be listening to this, because after you've come on our show, by the way, which was an honor. Thank but you. But the one thing that people have got to understand is every single person out there, all have psychic ability. Absolutely. Being psychic is... Whether you're is... an artist, whether mm -hmm. you're a photographer, a healer, it's all spiritual psychic ability. I agree. You know, I had a lady, Norm, I have to ask you if you've had this experience, but I had a lady one time come to me. She was a, a very, actually, a famous artist. And I can't say who she was, but she was a famous artist. And she said to me one time, she said, Bob, I don't know what to do. I can't, I can't paint. I've lost my ability to paint. And I said to her, you haven't lost your ability. You've just forgotten how to channel. And so I had a meeting with her about channeling. And guess what? Her painting came back. Oh, absolutely. I deal with young people or older people every day. And I tell them, you haven't lost it. You just had to put it, uh, put it aside for a while and rebuild your energy. See, I think you really tap in on it. You know, Norm, you've been, uh, you've got a very large following. You're all through the New England, well, really throughout the whole world, but you have a large base up in the northern part of the United States, don't you? Yes. Yes, I do. And you know, like with you, Bob, we both have a large following. But one of the things that people don't realize, this doesn't come overnight. It takes a lot of, it takes a lot of hard work and a lot of believing in yourself in order to accomplish this. Absolutely. And, you know, I think that confidence within, knowing that you are connected to the higher source, that's really where all the power is, isn't it? And, Bob, I, got, I am going to be turning over a queen for, for you because your, your female side of your spirit is really strong and very powerful. Thank you. Okay. Well, I think, and, yeah. I've actually seen a queen of diamonds, but I don't use regular cards. I use playing cards. Oh, okay. All right. Well, you and, do a lot of different types of reading, don't you? And, and, you know, and actually reading, when they, people come to a reader, like a tarot card reader, an angel reader, or whatever, they need to have some kind of a, like a thing, like a card that they can see, that they can relate to. Uh -huh. You know? Oh, absolutely. You know, like when, when you talk to someone 
and you do, and you relate to it, maybe you just use some kind of a card. Do you use cards? Um, normally I don't. I'm a ch more of a channel, but in my early days of site where I did use cards, and occasionally now I will use even, uh, I'll do a crystal reading with people. Right. But mm -hmm. you need to have some kind of a sign for them to understand what I've been finding out. One thing I'm also going to tell you to make sure you have your passport in order. <laughs> okay, tell me about that, Norm. I see you're going to France. Very interesting. Do you know I speak French? Well, then you need to go back to you. Well, you, you're originally uh, as a spirit. You were a monk over in one of the uh, in your past life in one of the monasteries in France. You know what? That is absolutely amazing. I tell you guys, Norm is amazing. He just when he starts opening that channel. I gotta tell you, Norm, that um, actually I can confirm that I've had that in my own past life regression. Right. Very accurate. And I also do that too. I do past life regressions on people. Isn't that but wonderful? I also will see will, will see with you as well. That there's a lady that wants to come into your life because she has a, uh, a like a love for you. But the problem I'm seeing with that love that she has for you is an obsession. Okay, good to know. I, I have had incidents with, um, I guess I would call them stalkers in the past, so I would right. definitely watch for that. Uh, I, I, I have to tell you a funny story. As you know, obviously, I don't hide the fact that I'm yeah, yeah, with a partner. <laughs> and I had this lady I was doing a reading on, and she was informing me how she would make me go straight. That's a lady, no, that's okay. You go your way, I go mine. <laughs> you know? I love these people that try to change you. Well, you know, people are who they are. And don't you agree, Norm? I mean, really, we, we come into this life with a kind of our, our, you know, our chart. You know, we have a kind of a path we're supposed to be on. I and have to warn you, you, you in, in the readings that you do, mm -hmm. you make, you've got to be very cautious of who you read. Okay. Well, I am very cautious these because days. I'm concerned about your well-being. I have to be really honest with you because of your well-being. I don't want to see you get sick. Thank you. Well, I, I do have to balance that energy. You know, as a psychic, and I think you understand this too, it takes a lot of energy to do what we do, doesn't it? Oh, and if I don't forget to balance myself, let me tell you, I'm exhausted in the end. Absolutely. And I had a lady that came in yesterday with a kidney infection that really had to balance myself. And, but when she left, she felt a, a lot better. I also will tell you that you have, what are your spiritual angels in the female state? You don't hear a lot about female state, but that's what your guiding angels. Thank you very much. I've actually felt the presence of saints around me, so this is Her actually... Name is yes. Angelina. Angelina, okay. Um, I'll have yeah, to research. Well, my stage as well. Ah, okay. Well, this, isn't that amazing? Wow. <laughs> I also want you to be, because I'm really concerned about your, the bank freezing your bank account. Okay, good to know. Good okay, to know. so keep an eye on that because there's somebody that's trying to sabotage your account. Actually, no, I got I to gotta tell you, Norm, and I can't go into details here, but you're more accurate than you know. Oh, thank you. Thank you. See, I guys, Norm, now, Norm doesn't you know anything. Now, 2016, 2017 are going to be phenomenal for you. Are they going to be awesome? Ah, all right. I've taken but it from your mouth to God's ears. You're going to say, oh, my God, what am I going to get a break? Wow, I love that. See, guys, Norm is amazing. And I'm telling you, Norm, from me to you, I think you're going to be in the same boat with me. <laughs> I, I agree. I also will tell you this. Politically, what you have been doing is right off base. Well, thank you. Yes, I've been getting so many calls on this political front. And, uh, you know, it's it's going to be an interesting year. That's all I got to say at this time on that. But I, Right now, I'm not going to say who I'm not going to. I know I have a... You and I both can agree on who we see as winning, but I'm not going to predict it right now. Sure, yeah. No, I'm but with you. That it's going to become a bigger devastation than we've ever had. Yeah, I think so. It's going to, this year is going to be very interesting for the country. And I have said to the people five to six years ago, uh, Bob, that I see a female from the South winning the nomination. Isn't that interesting? 
Okay. And if they want to go to my uh, predictions on spiritualvisionary.net, they would see that. And uh, I would tell you now that and, uh, I really believe this with a, a lady that's going to win. However, she is not going to be able to serve out her current term. Wow, Norm, that's pretty heavy. And she has a lot of sickness around her. Okay. Well, we're going to watch that. That is and, very and, uh, interesting. Uh, it's going to exile to Kenya. I'm sorry, say that last part. I lost it. Okay. Say what your last part was. I didn't hear that last part. Uh, president, it's going, when he comes out of office, it's actually, I see him moving to Kenya. Really? Moving to, so the president is going to move to Kenya after office. Well, <laughs> that will certainly be interesting to watch. We're definitely going to have to watch right it. right at home, man. <laughs> okay. You know, I also will tell you that the new president will have a battle on his team because the Republicans are going to come out very, very strong in their political views, which is going to be overturning a lot of the laws that are today. Very interesting. So it's going to be a very heavy political climb and a lot of drama, it sounds like. Right. I have yeah. to let you know that your mom and dad have both passed their real parents. I'm really extremely proud of you. Thank they, you. They have to let you go so that you can find the path that you're on today. Thank you very much. You know, Norm, I have to tell you, there's not been any other psychic that has been able to channel through my parents in the way you have. And that's what made me know you were real, you know? I, I, your parents, you know, see, your father, I believe, was a very man. Yes, he was, yes. Okay. And the, your mother gave you up out of love. Yes. Yes, there was a lot of conflict there at that time, but no, that's uh, that's very accurate. Yes. But you ended up with a beautiful, with, with a lovely home. You were very fortunate. You had a very blessed home. I absolutely, you're a hundred percent accurate on it. Yes, and see, you guys, Norm doesn't know about that part of my life. So this is truly amazing. And uh, Norm, you're 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 spot on. <laughs> uh, Doctor Dad, though, did he pass? Yes, um, my birth father's passed. Yes. Yeah, no, I mean, you're, you're adopted death. No, he's still alive, but he's come close to death in the last year. He literally I, did I, die and yeah. come back. He was prepared to let him go. Yeah, we're watching him. He's had a lot of struggles. Yeah, you have to give him permission. Okay, thank you. It's going to be up to you to say, you know, Dad, you can either, you know, but you put it into the ball court. That way they have... The, you gave him permission to cross over or stay on. And I look at him actually within the next year, and I hope I'm wrong, I'm looking at him crossing over within the next year. Okay, okay. Well, you know... And I think that he, for his, and you're going to have to be there for your mother. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Um, hey, he's been so close so many times. Okay. Uh, Financially, you're going to do okay, dude. You really are. You've well, got a you. lot of good financial success coming to you. But for you, it's not all about money. No. You know, I do this because I love it. Money's not my focus, you know. But I do, you know, I have to have money to live. But, yes, um, I do this because I love it. And I think you love it, too. You don't oh, really I, do it for the money, know, do you? When I started to do it, it was all about money for me. Mm -hmm. I went on a job that was on Sylvia Brown. But you know what? I had a rude awakening. Wow. It isn't all about them. It's about me and helping other people. Yeah. No, that's so, true. I, I, if we, and the one thing that I do not do, if you don't mind me saying this, sure. if there's someone on any state welfare, you know, not government, but state welfare, they get out of I actually will not, I, I refuse to take their money. Yeah. Because that money should be going to the children. I'm not a monitor, I'm not a state, but I know what I'm doing is right. You know, I have to live with it. Just like you, Bob. But you were going to be around doing what you're doing until you're 92 years old. <laughs> you know, Norm, I've always felt that. In fact, that's funny you say that because I had a conversation recently with somebody and they said, Bob, when do you think you'll retire? And I said, I don't think I'm ever going to retire. <laughs> And that's Norm, my spirit to allow me to kick you to at least what I'm doing right now until I'm at least 85 years old. Well, you know, Norm, I don't see you retiring. I have to tell you that oh, I no. really feel you're going to keep going. I think it's going to be beyond 85. Oh, yeah. And for those who are psychic, I have, if you're living in the area, 
where you and Bob, I would encourage you to go to one of those cable TVs like they have, yeah. and even YouTube. I would I would encourage you to look on the uh, cable TV and have your own show on there. Well, thank you. You know what? You've really inspired me because I love your show. And, guys, you have got to give yourself a treat. Norm, on YouTube, they can watch all the um, the, the past episodes, can't they? Absolutely. If you go to yeah. Norm's Friends and mm -hmm. you check them out, or you go to YouTube, Norman Moody, you check it out, and it'll tell you how to get my uh, YouTube. And as you were downloading my show that I had yesterday, so it'll be on YouTube tonight. Isn't that cool? Yeah, guys. In fact, that thank you, Norm, for saying that. If you guys want to get a taste of Norm's show and see me on it as well, tonight, tune in to his YouTube channel. Norm, I'm going to put the links here on the screen and in the box so everybody will get to it. But uh, you gotta drink cranberry juice. Cranberry juice. Tell me about that. You have a, a very weak kidney that needs to be cleaned out. Thank you. I do have concerns about one of my kidneys. Thank you. Okay. You really do. And I also will tell you, you're going to be someone that's going to become very special to you. Oh, okay. A little romance in Bob's life? <laughs> yeah. You know that song, called you love in all my wrong places? <laughs> <laughs> I can see you doing that, you know. And you know what, Bob? You and I have a, a, a one person that we know in, in, in common. Her yeah. name is Kathy Gasson. Yeah, She's wonderful. A beautiful lady. Lovely lady, yes. Okay. So we both have to say, hi, Kathy, how are you? Hey, Kathy. And, uh, <laughs> like that, you know? Absolutely. I love it, dearly, and so do you, but we're not going to get into a lot of detail. I also will tell you, do you have a car, Bob? Uh, not at this time, no. Uh -uh. I don't know if you're ready to have one. Well, you know, that's funny you say that, Norm. I've, I've had so many near-death experiences with cars, I'm a little sworn off of them. Me too. I, when I got my eyesight back, I thought I would never... See, I was blind for five years. Tell us about what happened with that. That's very interesting. I had... A, I was a few son in all my life, mm -hmm. but then I had these cataracts and some other stuff, and I had to go and have surgery done, and now I see better than I ever did. Wow. I Let still me... don't want to drive. Because when all the young staff come in, I used to tell them I have to touch... You know, I have to get to a vibration, if you know what I mean. You know? <laughs> Um, no, not actually. Well, I have a sister. She was adopted into a different family. Okay. Yeah. Because you're going to reconnect with her. Okay. Yeah. We've it's been uh, separated for several reunion, years. Because she's searching for you. Yeah. We actually reconnected several years ago, but then we've been uh, separated yeah. again. Well, she doesn't understand what you do. She hasn't, no, she has not really worked with me as a psychic, no. No, she's not it. She thinks it's, she's really strong in her Christianity. You also have someone that's in your family that is like as a priest in your real family. Uh, I have to research. I don't know all my bloodline yet, so that right. that is very possible. Actually, your father says to leave it alone. Okay. All right. I received that. And uh, he wants you to be on your own path for you, not anybody else. Well, thank you. Thank you, Norm. Well, I can say to him and to the other spirits, I'm very blessed because, you know, the other side, they really made me who I am. The spirit world supported me. When I said yes to spirit, everything in my life came to me and, and my life changed, you know, for many years. And you know it, too. It's like you said earlier, we didn't achieve, you know, what we've done overnight. It took a lot of years of work. And I know you struggled. I struggled. But I tell you, and I think you'll agree, once you say yes to your right. higher self, and you right. say yes to God, however you define that, the great spirit, yeah, universal spirit yeah. then life and changes. Also, you know, one of my biggest fears, and I don't know if you ever go through this, but it might be because I am very blessed, and I have had a lot of uh, success in what I do, even though it took me many years to get this path. But I'm always, one of my biggest things is I have to do is to, uh, I'm always afraid I'm going to wake up and my bubble's going to burst. <laughs> yeah, I think we all wonder that, you know. I have a fear someday I'll wake up and the spirits just won't be there. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. And you and I know that when we, give a, we have a huge problem, but you and I also know 
that if we didn't have the gifts that we had, we wouldn't be that important in reality in life. Well, you know, it's you, you're, you know, as I said, everything I have, everything I do, I owe truly to the spirit world. They Absolutely. called me and you I know, answered. I wouldn't change it for a penny. No, I wouldn't I either. I will tell you, success-wise, Bob, you're on the, you're, you're breaking that. I, that way you live, in the area where you live, they're very old-fashioned, cushy, empty people. Yeah, it's very tight down here in that way. And you're actually one of the, the pioneers of the psychic world. Well, thank you. I, you know, I, I just get up every day and I say, I'm going to do the best that I can. And, you know, I'm I always pray. I'm going to tell you this as well. Is I actually, well, you, you, actually, you're going to be doing, uh, doing a talk show. Now, Norm, oh, my goodness, that's amazing because that's actually been one of my goals for this year to get something like that going. So that's and amazing. By the way, folks, I have talked to Bob about this, and I actually talked to two other psychics about this, Bob. Yeah. It's going to become a reality. I am looking forward to Bob and I meeting in person in a place in Boston or around that area, uh, doing a live show together. Oh. And when we do that, let me tell you, we know we have reached our success. I am not any better of a reader than the next person, but I'm not any worse than the next person. I am on the path in Bob as well. We're both on the same path um, together. Thank you, Norma. Listen, I'm receiving that prophecy. I'm going to get my bags packed because I think we could do that. I'm there. Right. Me too, you know. And we will do that. And we will paint the town red, <laughs> yellow, and blue. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Norm, you, you are... Folks, remember this. Uh, I do have a website. If people want to go to my website, it's called spiritualvisionary.net. And Bob is going to be coming a red, hopefully at least... Once a month, Bob's going to be calling in on my on Norman friend. I definitely will, Norm. Well, thank you so much. By the way, if people are real, real excited and they want to book a reading with you, like right today, right. Uh, what's the best way for them to contact you? Through your website or can they call you? Do you have a phone well, they number? They go to my website and, will, and then they can call me afterwards. Okay, wonderful. Okay, so. my phone number to call me is area code 603 Eight, Isn't that wonderful? Well, guys, and listen. A message, and I will get back either by Scott. Scott, I want to have Scott say hi to you too. Hi. Okay, put him on. <laughs> hi. Hi, Scott. How are you? Good. It's so nice He's to a hear you. Shy person, but he getting more open now. See, that's why he and I work so well together. He's the quiet one about the mouth. <laughs> and Scott helps Anytime you manage your psychic call, business. Mm -hmm. um, uh, my rates are pretty reasonable, and I go, you know, they put their card, I take all kinds of credit cards. There you go. So you guys you know, treat I yourself. Say, right? you bought that, they want to read from you. Can they go to your website? Oh, absolutely. They all know my website. It's always on the screen. It's uh, www.robert-hickman.com. And, and uh, so my view is up here, can know, too. There you go. And I'm going to have your link on my website also once my webmaster finishes updating. Okay, I'm going to have you too. I'm going to go down to my web, my web person too. And also, may I do one more point? There's the people that are around you, you have to come to Manchester on April 9th. We're doing a big charity event for the uh, Manchester Animal Hospital. And what night is that again? April 9th. April 9th. Okay, a charitable event, you guys. And that's on your website too, Norm? It sure is. Okay. It's not yet. It won't be on Facebook anyway. I love it. Well, you guys, listen. you got to do yourselves a favor. Go check out my buddy Norm, Norm Moody. I love him. He's amazing. You'll find him amazing. You're going to love him. Check out his show. Check out his website. Get involved. Take action. Don't you think this year everybody should work on their soul journey? Absolutely. Absolutely. So let me yeah, know. And the same goes for those who are listening to me on my Facebook show. Give Bob a call. Look at his website. Go to YouTube. Uh, Bob, what is your YouTube again? Uh, YouTube is have? Spirit Channel. Spirit Channel. Go there. And Bob and I are going to be doing a lot of work together. I just feel very energized. And Bob, I just felt a lot of weight has been listening to my shoulders. Thank well, you so much. God bless and you. Thank you for being here. And remember, every day you are the winner.
God bless you, Norm. Thanks for being here today. It's such a treat to have you. And we're gonna have Norm back, guys. So you know you're gonna you're gonna be hearing more from him. I hope you'll come back. Will you come back with us? Absolutely. We know each other a favor now, so we call on each other's show. <laughs> there we go. Teamwork is the way, isn't it? It sure is. It is. Okay. Well, guys, okay. I... Okay. Much love now. This is Norm, uh, Reverend Norm Moody, psychic uh, and medium. And thank you, Bob, for allowing me to be on your show. God Have bless you, Norm. Thank you. Have a good day. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye. Thank you, Norm. Thank you, Norm. Norm, thank you. Have a good day. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Okay. Well, guys... That's my buddy, Norm. Check him out. You won't regret it. Hope you'll like this favorite. Share it with your friends. And be back here tomorrow. We got more awesome stuff coming. Blessings to all of you.